Hey, evil. Alright, Sylvia's here. I am back in the sands of Menachantrum, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and I'm probably not, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I am here to actually do all of the quests in this place. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, there's actually quite a few off the top of my head. I don't know how many. Um, there's one quest for level 10, so that's the one I'm heading over to. It's the... And I already forget it. It is the the Chamber of Ramat. Uh, is the only level 10 quest in this place. Um, if you include the Desert Caravan quest that I did on my first life on uh, when I was a monk, uh, that's like technically part of this adventure pack. Um, that's a level 11 also, though. Most of the quests here are level 11. Um, there's a, I want to say like four that are level uh, 12s. I totally forgot that there's monsters here. I am playing zero attention to basically anything right now. Um, well, while I'm here, I might as well check and see if that rare encounter. Nope. Not there. Okay. So let me just uh, auto walk again. Alright. Chamber of Rahama. Great. I don't even know which one it is. Alright. Well, I'll be pausing here for a second because it's not telling me which one's which. Or actually, you know what? Can I just do it? God, I don't even know how to close my... I'm doing so poorly right now, people. Alright, Menachantarum, Chamber of Ramat. Can I, like... Okay, good. Alright, that's the one we're going up here. So, yeah. Um, I want to say four of the quests, as I was saying, are level... Um, are level 12s. Uh, and one of them is, like, the pre-raid, and the other one is the actual raid itself. Um, I will attempt the pre-raid... But uh, I'm pretty confident I can't solo the raid, so that's just not happening. Ramat. So yeah, the this quest is pretty self-explanatory. Go through, kill things. Um, I do like though that it starts you on an adventure pack. I just think that's funny. Also, on that note too, I totally forgot to turn on power attack. And uh, just on a side note, like strength 29. See that? Okay. 36, 12. 35, 60 watt, 37. Really? Okay, so I have to say, um, when the music, like, changed there, and then all of a sudden monsters attacked me, I was legitimately startled right there, and, like, jumped a little bit. <laughs> like, legitimately startled. For some reason, in these staircases, your characters can't actually just walk straight up. So these, uh, these Windlasher Knolls are actually nice on that crit. Um, are actually quite a bit tougher than the ones that were actually out in the wilderness. Which is how it always is when quests, you know, in, or in wilderness areas, you know. I'm going in on something that's, you know, I don't know. I'm going in on the Elite, which really is raising the level of these things by quite a bit. Really? Oh, you suck, dude. I was stunned for quite some time there. I just missed my, uh, smite. That's super annoying whenever that happens. Also, that guy is kind of, uh, kicking my face in. Alright, let's call my hireling over. Okay, I called my hireling over for heals, not to beat the, the thing down. Really? God. Oh, also, I did recently just upgrade my equipment. Uh, I'm also using my wrong weapon. That's great. Okay. I'm just doing, like, great all around. Where'd you come from? I switched to the weapon with holy, right so that I could fight monsters that aren't evil types. Maybe I should swap weapons again? God, I don't even know. So yeah, you see, so far we're basically fighting gnolls. Um, this is what was, this was the tomb of the pharmacist or something like that? The physician, that was it, pharmacist, what am I saying? 
Um, there's also the Tomb of the uh, the Astrologer, and those two dungeons are like pretty functionally similar. They look kind of the same, and they kind of have the same setup. Uh, so I'm not 100% certain which one I'm currently fighting. <laughs> Yay, Mysterious Remnants. We've got a, um, orange name over there. Ah, that guy heals. Kill the healing dude. Not all these, uh, sarcophagi have the, uh, the mummy guardians in them. Um, I'm not sure if it's the, like, it's always, you know, if this one always gives a mummy and, you know, another one always doesn't give a mummy. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Ugh. Yeah, if you just, uh... Perfect. Trip to you. Wow. Nice heal. Wow. Alright, this is getting annoying. There we go. No chest? No chest. Where did you come from? So, just uh, some of my upgraded equipment. I picked up the visor of the Flesh Render Guard. Uh, which was something I mentioned was worthwhile in the Tangle Root uh, quest chain. Which I ultimately did, and have confirmed that that quest chain is not really interesting. Or really fun. Um, definitely something I would consider skipping if you're buying modules and not just, you know, going VIP. Yeah, this is largely disappointing and not fun on that one. Uh, I will eventually do videos of it, though. Um, these visors have a, you know, once per rest, uh, seven minutes of death ward, which is actually, like, really decent. Um, I'm still lacking good goggles, though. New helmet, sheltering nine, resistance four. Also, it looks kind of cool. I like the, uh, like the mouth guard. Woohoo. I just wish it was the same color as my armor. <laughs> First world problems, people. First world problems. Uh, new necklace, wisdom six. I was kind of lacking for a better necklace. Um, dust cart, I've had. So now he wants me to break uh, ser servants' coffins. We can do that. Let's switch to the, uh, the undead slaying weapon. I think I'm out of Null territory, and I'm just strictly into Undead territory. Uh, yeah. Charismatic 3 Cloak I'm still wearing, because I cannot find anything better than that, which is sad, I know, but what can I do? Ah, uh, you've been tripped. Do-do. Do-do. Uh... Belt of Natural Armor is giving me 6 Natural Armor, which is pretty solid. Um, and also is giving me 14, was it? Yeah, 14 Spell Resistance, which is actually, like, also pretty solid all around. Um, 14 Spell Resistance by itself isn't, like, you know, shockingly amazing or anything like that, but... It does mean that, like, low-level spellcasters will fail on casting spells on me, like, relatively often. And it means high-level spellcasters can always roll 1. So, like, not a lot to complain about there. Uh, this is a questionable one. Ring of the Jinn. Also, only the normal variant. Not all that great. Um, I'm not sure what the better versions have, but... Electricity absorption, 20%. Lightning resistance, 10 And damage reduction, 3 lawful. I got that literally because the thing I had in that spot currently was uh, a Ring of Resistance 3. So, like, you know, something that's being outclassed by my current helmet. By what, 50%? Yeah, no. Uh, just by one. But it is also granting me shelter, so I don't know. Uh, still wearing the same gloves from level 4, Dex 3, and Deadly 2. Uh, couldn't find anything better than that. Not that I looked super hard, but still. Um, where'd he go? Got some uh, ghouls. 
It is good, though, to know that I am clearly in the, uh, we are in undead territory and out of the knolls. Look, Gas Hunter. Boatload of EXP. Thank you. Um, boots, Strength 4, and Combat Mastery 5, giving me a plus one, 5 to my trip, Sunder, and blah blah blah. Uh, I'm pretty sure... So, like, stunning is a thing that shows up on weapons, and it boosts your chance of successfully hitting with, like, a stunning fist or a stunning blow. Usually seen on monks, since most people don't use stunning blow. Um, whereas stunning fist is granted as, like, a bonus feat for monks, and is, like, really good. Because, you know, it adds your, like, wisdom to the modifier or something like that. So, yeah. Um, anyway, long story short. Is, uh, in addition to, like, boosting the chance of actually succeeding with a stunning fist or a stunning blow, the stunning, uh, like, effect on weapons also just gives a, like, flat chance that you'll successfully stun a monster when you attack him. I'm not sure exactly how it works. I'm not sure if it's a percentage or something like that. As far as I can tell, Combat Mastery does still provide that. So just by having a Combat Mastery piece of equipment, even if you're never attempting like any kind of stunning attack, you still have that really low chance of successfully stunning somebody. Which is kind of cool. So yeah, Combat Mastery 5, Strength 4 boots. Not bad at all. Um, protection 2, Feet Mobility. this? They gave me what? They actually gave me like DM voiceover for a single ghast. A monster that I've already fought here. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so mobility is nice. It, like, I don't know. Gives me a dex boast or something like that. Oh, I guess that's it. Makes a lot more sense that they were talking about this now. Locked? Really? Maybe I gotta break these or something. I'd be kind of annoyed if I couldn't get that chest. That chest just stays locked. Try again. That chest is just locked. Wow, that's kind of annoying. What can you do? So yeah, mobility is like pretty solid. Um, and then we've got this these nice bracers. Constitution 5 and Insightful Spell Resistance 9. Insightful being a different type of bonus than um, the enchantment bonus here actually stacks. Giving me 23 spell resistance, which is like legitimately solid defense. And then I got a new docent, switched out my old one. My armor class dropped by 4 by putting this guy on, but I got fire absorption 21%. And I also picked up double bull strike 6. So yeah, new equipment all around. Um, I also finally got around to, you know, upgrading my weapons, too, so this is a, well, this is a, what, Holy Undead Bane weapon, plus two it looked like, or was it plus two, plus two, yeah, plus two Holy Undead Bane, which I'm, like, excited about in its own special way. I keep forgetting that that's a thing I can do. I lack conviction. Um, plus three screaming pure good, and I've got my plus two holy great sword of pure good. So yeah, everything's good in life. You guys suck. All right, gas exterminator. I'm actually going to double back here a little bit, because it looks like I missed what looked strongly like a dead end. And as everybody knows in video games, you always, always hit the dead ends first. Also, it looks like I missed two of the coffins. And, no, four of the coffins. Two of the other things. Yeah, entombed concubines and Jezere. It's a it's an interesting room for Ramit the physician. I think he was 
Gromit was the physician. The other guy, Korsh, I think his name is, is the, um, the astrologer. I think. God, I don't even know. Well, I'm glad I doubled back here. Because that got me a new unique zombie for my monster manual and uh, mysterious remnants, plus a small amount of EXP, I suppose. Always good to have those things. Alright, so at this point, let's go to the right. Oh, I almost forgot to break you. And you will be number 10. Also, I'm kind of dying. Time to call my hireling over. I mean, I could just heal myself. I do have, like, lay on hands and all that stuff. Which I apparently cast on myself at some point. I do like that he's not capable of healing me fully. Even though I've used uh, my valuable enhancement points to uh, try my hardest to, uh, <laughs> whatever, reduce my, like, Warforged healing penalty. My healing penalty is only 20% now. I was going to say, that definitely looks like a hidden door right there. I feel like I don't want to be the one that runs across that. I've I regret that my hireling just got obliterated, but Yeah, I mean, I regret that my hireling just died a stupid death, but uh, I'm glad I didn't die a stupid death. Dude, you're dead, and you're still trying to steal my treasure? Alright, where's the rush shrine at? Can I just steal? Can I just not get him rezzed? Nah, I should really get him rezzed. Oh, how annoying is that? I would have been too convenient for there to be a restaurant there. I should really double back at this point. Eh, I'll just roll with it. What's the worst that could happen? I'll just die. That would be a really sad end to this video, me dying like that. Alright, and that's it for my, uh, that ability. It's an eternal wizard. You know what the Japanese say about wizards? How to become a wizard. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You guys don't know what I'm talking about? Google it. <laughs> oh, boy. Do-do... I can't even pick it up because it's in the wall. What do we got down here? How am I still missing a servant's coffin, too? Pick up my 60 gold coins. Thank you very much. Do we get... Alright, we got Ransack and we got Conquest. I still need to destroy one more uh, servant's thing. Yeah, I'm kind of going to actually, like, use these defensive spells, since I only have one more lay on hands. So I'm going to heal myself the old-fashioned way, too, while we're at it. There's literally no reason for me to be breaking these open right now, now that I think about it. Just making it less likely for me to, like, succeed in the mission overall. You know, there's always a chance that one of these guys is going to be, like, a champion and hit me super hard repeatedly. In case you're wondering, the uh, the one spell I cast, the, uh, what was it, Divine Favor is giving me a plus three luck bonus to attack and damage rolls, and the other thing is giving me damage reduction five evil, yeah. 
that's our boss coffin right there. He will pop out when I break it open. Alright, so we're gonna cast my buffs again. And heal myself up a little bit more. Well, it's a good thing he didn't do anything. Uh, now these seals are used, um, another one is dropped in the chamber of the other guy, and I don't know how I missed the serpent, the servants, whatever, but whatever. Um, but anyway, yeah, another one of those seals is dropped in the chamber of Kurish, I think his name is, again, the, uh, the astrologer. Um, when you actually go to fight the wizard king dude in his tomb... Which is the uh, big one right there. Um, when you actually go to fight him, his he and his like two guardians are all protected by two jins and then a fritty, one of them. And you can use the seals to banish them instead of fighting them. Anyway, um. So that was a like walk up quest. It's issued to you when you uh, you get up to the place. Uh, it's still turned in to this guy here, Wayfinder Scaver. Um, it's been a bad day. I begged the magicians in Zwabi's refuge for a way to cure my sunburn, but they are overwhelmingly wizards and sorcerers, not healers. The outcast priestess Calix finally suggested a ward against sunlight, but it involved ritual scarring and scorpion venom. Frankly, I think she just wanted to get rid of me. Now, have you made any discoveries that would interest the Wayfinders? Recount your adventures in the Tome of the Physician. Skaver listens with rapt attention to your tale. So you found the Tomb of the Wizard King's loyal physician, eh? It said that when Raymond the Eternal became a lich, he realized he no longer needed a doctor's care. So he flayed Ramit alive, devoured his organs, and drank his blood, praising him all the while for making such a delicious and healthful meal. Aye, Raymond's lich was insane and evil, and indeed still is. I will gladly pay for your discovery. The Wayfinders are interested in all rocks of the Wizard King's fatal reign. Thank you, Skaver. Let's see what I got. Heavy Densewood Shield of Move Silent. No. Shocking Dwarven Act. Nope. Nope. Longbow of Double Shot. Eh, that looks pretty poor. Yeah, I mean, the Red Augment slot's kind of reducing its value there. Deft Longbow of Deadly. Seeker and Deadly. That's not terrible. Midcraft, negative resistance, no. Well. Warriors of Sonic Resistance. Warriors of Ice Guard. Hardy of Poison Resistance. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna take the long go. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, folks, that was the uh, Chamber of Vomit. Um, I will, like I said, be doing all the quests in here except for the raid which is quite a few of them, so yeah, tune in for those, and I'll see you guys later.